Hey everyone, it's Angelo. The sport of rugby has been around since the 19th century and made its mark in countries like the UK, Australia, and New Zealand. However, rugby isn't as prominent for us here in the US because of the dominating popularity of baseball, basketball, and football. So today, we're gonna have a crash course from pro rugby player David Ulch from Tampa Mayhem. Let's learn rugby. Uh, one of the first steps in rugby, learning rugby is basically passing. Uh, we Americans, we typically like to tuck the ball because of American football. Uh, the biggest, one of the biggest rules when you're carrying the ball in rugby is trying to do a two-hand carry. That's the biggest thing that we're trying to promote because right here, you're telling the defense there's a possibility of passing the ball, either left or right. When you tuck it, you're telling them that you're not, you're just running straight at them. So, trying to promote two-hand uh, two carry. Um, when you do this, the first step when we do this is you're always trying to pass the ball back. In rugby, that's a basic rule, passing the ball backwards, right? Um, and so with your, I'm the, you're my target here on the right side, so my goal is to take a step, get the ball off to the side of my hip, and this is going to feel really weird because we're used to throwing overhand, right? Getting it off to the side of the hip, elbow up, and getting it out to the target. Now you're going to be using your hip as you come across to throw that. Does that make sense? Yeah. So as you step outside with your outside leg, come across with your hips, yep, yep. Boom, and you're there, just like that. Very, very, very simple. So again, step me forward, out to the side, hip out, pop, just right. like that. And one of the reasons why we do, we do it like that is because we're also protecting our ribs too, in case somebody goes to try to tackle you, you're not gonna have some busted ribs, right? Yeah. So if you want to, go ahead and try it again. Yep, there you go. And then back up, one more time. Yep, just like that. Okay. All right? This next drill we're doing is uh, just a basic line drill, getting the ball out wide to uh, offensive guys as we're doing on the offensive side of the ball. So here we go, boys. Yep. There you go. Good. Nice job, buddy. Ready? Yep. There you go. Good. Yeah, yep. Quick. There you go. There you go. All right, the next drill we're doing is a 3-2-1 drill, and this is, it, it does focus a little bit on the offensive side, but it really benefits more of the defensive side, and we do, we do this drill almost pretty much every practice. It's beneficial for uh, the defensive side of the ball. Uh, if there's, do you have any questions up to this point? Um, why do we roll the ball back? Why do you roll the ball back? Uh, in rugby league, unlike union, um, when we get tackled, uh, you're coming off the ground, when you put the ball down, you have to place it down and then roll it back with your foot. Now this right here basically signals the next tackle or in American football, the next play. Okay. You know how in American football they sit here and the center comes over top and hikes it? Yeah. This is basically the same version of that. Yeah. Um, and so as soon as, the, as, soon as the, um, the tackle guy puts the ball down and puts it, boom, that's basically hiking the ball back for the next play right. for the offensive side to push up. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uppers up. There you go. Good, good, good. Yeah, tackle the release, release. Cut it up, roll it down. Good, 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 good. Nice. <laughs> now when you roll it, you don't have to like really push it. Like you went like this and just like hauled it back. When you do it, just come over top and literally you just tap it, just like that. Because as soon as you tap it, if you tap it, that means it's the next play. I mean, why? Does that person will be close to you? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, because when you do that, I'm basically the quarterback. I'm the hooker, oh. our hooker. So when you go to set it down, like I'm right here waiting for it. So I'm here, and then I'm going to pass it back out again. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? That yeah, yeah. Way. There's always going to be someone there. Okay. There's always going to be someone there. Yep. Take it in. There you go. Three, three, nice boys. Three. Nice boys. Nice boys. Yep. 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 Good. 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 All right, tackling in rugby league is a bit different than what it is in football, and especially in different, uh, different from uh, rugby union too. Uh, one of the goals in, in rugby league is to tackle a bit higher, uh, mostly in this zone where you have the ball. So if you if you're running with the ball two hands, or you tuck it in like you do right here, yeah. um, our goal is to try to get within this zone to hold the ball. Because if we uh, go any lower, there's a possibility where you could offload, what we call offload, where you pass the ball to your to a buddy that's running with you. Yeah. Um, so our goal is to try to actually get in here when we go to tackle. 
right yeah. up in the shoulder area. And we're gonna explain uh, basically some do's and don'ts, uh, what's illegal, what's legal. Uh, so you guys will know the difference between um, uh, uh, some of the different tackling techniques. So uh, the first one is just a basically tackle. Justin's gonna show us uh, how he basically goes in that. So if you go, just go in and tuck it with your bumpers up, okay. um, and he'll show exactly how it goes, so go ahead. Boom, and where he's at right here, this is legal. He's wrapped, Bar both arms are wrapped around him, and, and that's a, one of the required rules. You have to wrap when you go to tackle. Unlike in football, where you can do forearm shivers and, and shoulder charges, that's illegal in rugby league. So you need to make sure you wrap. His head's to the side, nice and tight, and he's not above the neck or higher. If you hit, if you tackle from neck or higher, that's illegal, right? Um, a lot of times you can actually get out of the game depending on how brutal it is, right? So we'll set it back up again. Um, and you get, if you want to you try it on Justin. All right. All right. All right, so same thing, what, uh, what you want to do, like we just said, you're gonna, it's a little bit shorter for you, so what you, when you come in, you want to kind of get down underneath and up like that. All right, so your goal is actually this area right in here. All right, so try to get that, uh, that shoulder underneath there and up. So go ahead. There you go, good. Basically, make sure that arm gets wrapped around too. All the way? Yeah, yeah, you want to be all, I know, I know, as far as you can. I know you're not gonna be able to get all the way around, but at least up and around in order to get the ball, you want to contain the ball, because if you don't contain the ball, he can easily just offload it. So go, in, go ahead and go into it again. You'll see what he does if you don't wrap the ball up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah. So, again, make sure you wrap the ball up or he's gonna, he's gonna offload. So good. There you go, good. Um, and then another tackle we have, if, the first guy, the 3 two, one drill that we just did, the first guy always goes in up top to get the ball. The second guy goes around the waist to get, to get a little bit lower. So again, you're dropping level. I'm um, doing this side. Drop the level, you get your head to the side like this, right? And, and getting to the head to the side. Just like, it's kind of like uh, if you ever wrestled, it's kind of like that too. You know, like a double leg takedown. Okay. And so, yeah, I'll hit the top and then you just go for the hip, right? So, yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Down. Just like that. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Whew, that was intense. Well, we hope we shed some light for you on this sport. Now go catch a rugby game near you. Signing off from Tampa Bay, I'm Angelo Carpuz, and I'm always one with 25. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave some love by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe here at ABC Digital Nest so you don't miss any of our upcoming features.